So for you Libras, you have the star, the ace of pentacles, and the knight of cups. This is about you Libras ultimately um, striving to be better, right? A lot of you Libras are working on some sort of project. You're, you Libras are trying to become financially successful, all right? A lot of you Libras are trying to become financially successful. You, wanna, you want to have that level of the ability to choose your own life for yourself. So you see financial independence as a means of being a tool to be able to use that. So a lot of you Libras, you've got something going on. If you, are, if you already don't come from money already, I'm sure a lot of you do. But um, if you already don't come from money, I see a lot of you Libras choosing that you want a particular lifestyle. And you're actually, right, the Knight of Cups, you're actually going to go find out about that, how to achieve that lifestyle. And the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups now is about how now other people may think that you're you're crazy, right? Other people in the past may have thought that you were crazy. This this could even be a reference to when a lot of you Libras were in a committed relationship with somebody, um, and this per and you know you told this person that you wanted more, and that this person may have laughed at you, or maybe you're so-called friends in the past may have laughed at you some sort of betrayal and now a lot of you libras remember that and you this is what keeps you uh determined to actually figure a way out for yourselves is because the what it is that you want in essence is something that a lot of other people want but when it comes to you for some odd reason people have to unfortunately you know laugh at you libras and betray you and try to make it seem like it's so out of, it's so far out of the realm of being capable for you in particular to the point where you're never going to be able to achieve it which is completely not true that's completely not true and the thing right on their part and the thing about it is that the ace of cups represents well what are some of the things that you libras desire you want a partner that isn't going to necessarily cheat so you want some form of loyalty. You want a partner that actually understands you Libras internally as well as externally. Like, yeah, a lot of you Libras got a nice looking body. We know that. A lot of you Libras look real good. But the problem is you want someone that can also understand your internal, uh, your internal life as well as your external life as well. And the thing about it is that the tower is that and, and a lot of you Libras will be by yourselves um, instead of having to be with somebody that you're not necessarily on the same page with. And you should be by yourself if you're not with anybody that is on the same page with you, right? If you happen to date somebody or getting to know somebody and you happen to not be on the same page, you don't have to be, you don't have to date them, you know, you don't have to. Cause then that's called usury you know why 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 get down or be with somebody that really doesn't have the same goals and the same standards that a lot of you Libras have right that's a, a mistake if you do that so the page of swords represents so this is why you, you know this is this is why you need to know what you want right and um because the truth is that when it comes to what it is that you want, a lot of you leaders don't really state what it is that you want. So that so a lot of the times your relationships be halved because you won't state what it is that you want. And I'm not even talking about to another person. I'm talking about to yourself. You won't bring it up on out of yourself to be like, to even when you're by yourself to be like, you want this, this, this. So that you can actually vocalize that. So that when you finally... Uh, vocalize it you actually are able to um get closer to manifesting it right so that because now that you've actually said it that this is what it is that you wanted now that you've actually said it now you're in a position where you you know what you want and you've actually stated what it is that you want so that the next time when you know people come to you and they're not that that you and them are not on the same page 
it's easier for you to let them go respectfully, of course, because they, they are not what you want. So the three of wands is about how, so a lot of you Libras may have to understand that you are going to have to look far and wide. You're going to have to seriously keep your options open. What I mean when I say keep your options open, you Libras are going to have to, to date far and wide. If you Libras are open to dating people that are not in your ethnicity, then you're going to have to be open to that and just date whomever you can get along with that is on the same page with you, but also wants to continue the relationship, con who, who wants to em uh, empower themselves by being better than how they were before, right? A lot of times, um, you know, people can want to be in relationships and then get lazy and then just be like, oh, well, I just want them. That's not what a relationship is supposed to mainly consist of. The two of you are supposed to get together, but the two of you are supposed to continue to become uh, better overall and um, continue to challenge yourselves and each other to become better, right? So the seven of wands represents, yes, it will be work to, to do that, right? You will have to go out a couple of times um, in order to find a, a, a better suited person for you. But the six of, of swords represents, but it it'll it'll it will get better over time because you will you will find that more people are willing to try to get to know you and, and, and some of them would will, will do the approaching. Okay? Some of them will do the approaching. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the um the ace of cups. Right, Empress, which is Libra, Eight of Pentacles, Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. To clarify, the Ace of Cups. Right. Um, if you don't get along with the person, simply just don't talk to them anymore. Move on to somebody else. You know, or let them know that the two of you are not good for each other. The Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles, right? The Hierophant represents, and you'll know the difference because, you know, you Libras will know whether or not you and the person is on the same page. You'll be asking them questions and getting to know them, <laughs> you know? And if the two of you are not really compatible like that, you got to do what's best for you and move forward. Three of Pentacles, because you're looking for somebody that you can build with, remember? That's the point. That's the main goal. Um... So let's clarify the star card. Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Hermit, Knight of Pentacles, to clarify the star. So again, you know, the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords, this is a situation for you where... Um, and also, you Libras have to understand that not everybody that you meet will be able to even keep up with you, too. See, that's another thing, too, that a lot of you Libras, right? Um, that's another thing that a lot of you Libras may not even have necessarily uh, taken into consideration. Is the idea that, are, you know, if you Libras are, are, are someone that is unattainable, in um, another person's eyes. And what I mean by that is some people may not even be able to even try to, to, to keep up with you. So they don't even try, you know? They will know, they'll size you up. They'll know good and well, I can't keep up with this person. So they won't even try. So what will happen is it'll be so obvious that you and them are not compatible. But you're looking for that. And the thing is that the Hermit and the, and, the, and the Knight of Pentacles, this is great because it means that you have a pick. It means that you have the options, the availability to pick. It means that a lot of people are coming, you know, in abundance. It means that a lot of people are flocking to you, right? A lot of people happen to be interested. It's not hard for you to at the very least, get to 
to hang out with somebody. Again, you're a social zodiac sign. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. Queen of uh, Cups, Five of, of uh, Wands, Four of Cups, and then Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands. Um, some people, when they're not able to keep up with you, though, they will pick an argument. So that's something that you Libras have to be on point about. When they decide to try to get you into an argument, that's when you ghost. Whether it's face to face, if they try to get you into an argument, don't say anything. And just thank them for their time and leave. If they're doing it through the cell phones, don't say anything. <laughs> don't text back. The Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Because they're doing it to aggravate you, obviously. You know, because... They can't keep up with you. But but instead of them raise their level of understanding and their level of existence, they would rather much more try to tear you down. So you Libras have to understand that very much so, you know, when it comes to people who are not really ready for, for you Libras, it will be a doggy dog world. But for the people, and, and it will be apparent of that. You will know that. But for you, but... You know, for the people that actually have something going on, it'll be an easier, more peaceful ride, right? Regardless of whether it works out or it doesn't, you find someone that works for you or it doesn't. You know, the, the people that have something going on, it'll be much easier to communicate with them. 